What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Vincent and this is the Eye for Profit production. So in this video we're going to be talking about sneakers, selling sneakers. I'm a sneaker seller. That's not the only thing I sell but it's one of my favorite things to sell and I actually got a nice haul video coming up. So subscribe to the channel because you're not going to want to miss it. So first things first, when you're going to be selling sneakers you need a decent space. So let's, let me show you guys what I use. So here's my photographing space. I use this space to photograph anything that I'm selling other than clothing, okay? Now look, these are shoe trees. This is what I use to shape my shoes. You guys are gonna see more of that later. A ring light or this light right here is what I'm currently using, but both of these work good. You can find ring lights anywhere. You can order it on Amazon. You can go to uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, just about anywhere. Ross, DD's discount, they have them everywhere, even at the flea market. And obviously, you're gonna be able to, uh, you're gonna need to weigh your shoes, but more, you don't need to worry about most of this, okay? Um, this here, I actually found it when we moved here. It's just a tile sample. I used to just use two whiteboards. And then at one point, I even had like a little glass layer that I would put on top of the whiteboard. But everybody uses a little something different. Uh, wood looks good, really good in the backgrounds too. But if you're just starting out, just two of these whiteboards will do you a lot of justice. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I wanna mention before we get started is that you wanna make sure your shoes are properly shaped. So that might be as simple as stuffing tissue inside of the shoes to make sure that you can get out as much creases as possible or having shoe shapers or shoe trees inside of the shoes i'll put a link to those in the description keep in mind they come in two different sizes you want one for larger shoes and smaller shoes and then for fancier more uh, less casual shoes you want some wooden shoe shapers inside these make uh, leather oxfords and loafers look extremely good don't use these for sneakers and don't use these for oxfords and loafers now getting into the into the actual photos these are the 12 angles that i go by make sure you're always going to have 12 photos for ebay if you're doing this on facebook marketplace you're going to need to take out two of these angles so let's go we got this one, bam. A little bit high, not too low, not too high, just a little bit high. Now let's get the same thing for the other shoe, same exact angle. Notice that the shoes are not perfectly parallel. That is done on purpose, boom. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure you're not like on a bed or just holding the shoes in your hand that is unprofessional. Doing stuff like that will be one way that people are gonna think that your shoes are not authentic. If you have authentic, authenticity guarantee on, that might not matter because you know it's gonna get authenticated. Now we, we did use a higher angle for the front, but for the back, I like to use a little bit of a lower angle. Boom. Now we're gonna um, get the side view, right? Just stagger them a little bit. Um, instead of having them perfectly straight like this, I like to stagger it because I just feel like that comes off better on camera boom now let's get the other side same exact thing boom and you guys i am using the lg g7 this is a new phone so it does have pretty much one of the best uh photo qualities you can get in the phone but you don't need an actual professional photography camera boom this shoe is laid down simply for dramatic effect so that it looks good and it's just not in the background but the point is to get this inside part of the shoe now we're going to take these shoe trees out oh actually i want to make sure that i get the back angle first back angle boom shoes are not perfectly parallel as i said before back angle boom and some of these angles are a little bit what do you want to say redundant but so you do have some wiggle room like let's say if you have a particular flaw on the shoe you want to take a close-up of that flaw and it'll 
override some of the angles that are redundant for the sides of the shoe. Now, we want to always make sure we get the inside of the shoe and the having the flash on works really good for that. Boom. And last but not least, we want to get the bottom of the shoe. If you got these shoes from Goodwill or any any place where they wrote their price on the bottom of the shoe, it is a really good idea to do whatever you have to do to get that off. I typically use Awesome and this Awesome, it's the same as Google, but it's Awesome and these are both um, one dollar at the 99 cent store is what I pay for them. If you don't have that in your area, I'll put links in the description for you to pick those items up online. So if you found this content helpful, make sure you like this video. It really helps out the channel. This has been another I for Profit production. I'm your host Vincent and I'll see you guys back here on the next production.